Hi, Jimmy Jack here. Hey, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to fish for sockeye salmon. So on the Kenai River, we've got a large run of sockeye salmon that come through. Uh, we've got some that come through towards the end of June and some towards, towards the end of July. And uh, uh, everybody is always asking me, how do I catch them? And it's, it's actually really simple. Sockeye salmon is a uh, fish that's running right by the bank, about five to 10 foot off the bank. If the water's fast, even three, four foot off the bank. And they're really not that hard to catch. Um, the way I uh, rig my setup is I use a uh, four-aught octopus hook, eagle claw, laser sharp, and I just keep a lot of those in my pocket. Um, I don't even really need to carry tackle bags and uh, fanny packs and things like that I don't like to carry. People always ask too, uh, how much weight should I use? And that really depends on how uh, the current is where you're fishing for sockeye salmon. Um, I kind of like to uh, use as least amount of weight as possible, of course, uh, just so it's ticking on the bottom throwing it straight out right in front of you, um, right out 90 degrees out from the riverbank, and then letting it kind of drift downstream. You should feel it ticking along the bottom all the way through, but not sticking on the bottom. Um, you, wanna, you want the sticking on, on a fish. So you, what you want to do is kind of just tick along, and when it stops, um, that's usually a fish. So you want to jerk that. And if you've got a really, a little bit too heavy of a weight, you're just going to feel it sticking all the time, and you think you're going to you're getting hooked up and you're just getting snagged up on rocks. So uh, work with that. Uh, that's kind of um, easy to do if you use like the large, uh, the, the large um, split shot weights and just kind of uh, use as many as you might need to depending on where you're at. Because sometimes you move around. Um, I don't move around a whole lot when I'm fishing sockeye because they're coming upstream to me. But uh, if you do move around, you've got more in your pocket. So anyway, one of the questions I always get is about line. Uh, what size line should I use to uh, catch the sockeye salmon and the thing with sockeye salmon is they are six to eight pounds in the Kenai River but they can really pull when they got an eight knot current and I'll say well you probably want to use 20 25 pound test and people laugh 25 pound test I don't need that I can catch with my six pound strand well the truth is is you can you'll have it on for about five seconds <laughs> and bam it's gone so the thing is is you got to you got a fish that is uh, in the current and he's running downstream and a lot of times you hit him in the back. So 20-25 pound test can, uh, can work really well so that way you can break a fish off the string and you out. But you don't want to be uh, trying to fight a fish with 100 yards of line out and jumping over trees and rocks and flying over people's heads trying to get down to your fishing back every time you hook one because everybody else is uh, you know, in the same area trying to fish and, and uh, you kind of want to get that fish in, um, have a little bit of a fight. you know. Um, and, and bring it in and, uh, and get it in the bag uh, or release it. Uh, just kind of getting out of other people's ways and having a good time is what it's all about and, and kind of fishing like everyone else, like we always say, you know, um, wherever you go, you know, play like everyone else is playing. So anyway, uh, that's uh, how to fish for sockeye salmon on the Kenai River. Uh, if you need any more information uh, about that or fishing on the Kenai River, give us a call here, Jimmy Jack Fishing and uh, look us up on the web and check out our blog. Thank you.